Hey guys, this is AJ Montages, and today I'm going to show you how to use LiveType. LiveType is a software that comes with the program Final Cut. So let's go ahead and open that. So basically, you have three different sections of LiveType. There is your canvas, there, there is your inspector, your media browser, and your timeline. So to get started, we're going to go up to the inspector. We're going to type AJ Montages, and we are going to highlight that. Then you go over to Attributes. Attributes basically gives you your opacity, your blurring, your scale, your offset, rotation, color, saturation, lightness, and other things that you would need. I'm going to go into Colors, and I'm going to choose Lime Green. I'm going to click out of that now, and basically, uh, AJ Montages has a fill color of lime green. Now I'm going to go over to Effects, and let's see, I'm going to go to Mechanical, and I'm going to choose a Buzzsaw. Uh, that's uh, one of the effects. Okay, down here in your timeline, you want to make sure that all of your clips are lined up. If they're not, um you will have things that go longer than other things, which you don't want. Remember, though, this blue arrow down here must be at the end of your clips to line them up. Otherwise, your yellow arrow will just keep going, and your thing will not, and your um, arrow will never stop. And you want to turn off loop unless you want it, but for my purposes, I do not want it. Now I'm going to push play just to see what it looks like. AJ Montage just comes up. Perfect. Now, um, if you want a background, you can just keep this regular checkerboard background. I don't want it right now. You could go into File and Place or Place Background Movie. Right now, I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to go into Textures, and that will give me different things. I'm going to go into Categories. I'm going to choose Liquid for today, I'm going to, and then I'm going to choose Chocolate. Apply and Track. Again, line your, your frame up. Make sure they're all even. Line it up with the blue arrow. Now, in Live Type, you do not have a render um, button, so um, there's no real way to render it. But when you play it all the way through, it will render it for you because right here you see it's splotchy green and red. But when you play it, it turns all green, and there's your movie that you had. Um, there's other things you can do. You can do objects and have. Uh, let's see, like a uh, world, you can do this type of thing, or I like to go with nature most of the time, or um, business. Business is pretty cool. You just click it, you go to apply to new track, make sure your tracks are even once again. Um, you can drag it over, make sure it's lined up. Once again, we need to render it because if you don't render it, it will not save properly. You can do that, but I actually forgot to move this. I'm going to move this down all the way. Now I'm going to start it over. And then I'm going to push play. Once again, it renders it all. You see the edge of montages and you see the um, blue scrolling bar at the bottom. You can, however, put text on this if you would like. Right now I'm not going to. I'm going to delete that because that is not what I want. So basically you have this, you can do all cool things with it, you can do attributes, you can time things perfectly, um, effects, styles, text, uh, whatnot. Live fonts, it's really cool, you, like the, um, in movies you see 1, 2, 3, or 3, 2, 1 with this scrolling thing right here, I'm not going to use that right now. There's different things you can use, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff, but right now I'm not going to use that. Um, you can do animations with this, but once you're done with Live Type, you can import it into Final Cut and create a one-of-a-kind movie. Um, once again, these backgrounds do move, so you can also place a background movie on there. Um, right now, I'm not going to do that. And you can obviously put other stuff in Live Type, excuse me, um, but you mainly want to use Final Cut for all your videos. So once I'm done this, I would go up to File and Save As. I'm not going to save it right now because I already have one. And that is basically it. Um, if you have any questions about 
um, live type just right on my wall. And if you have any comments on other videos I should do or programs that I should do that I have, um, I will be coming out with a Final Cut Express video and a Aperture video, which are both having to do with pictures and moving pictures as well. Um, subscribe to my wall, post anything on my wall, any questions, um, just write on my wall and I'll get back to you. Thanks and subscribe.